Public transit is a ubiquitous aspect of adult life. We encounter thousands of strangers on a daily basis. On a typical day, 1.6 million passengers take the TTC to travel around the city. That equates to about 525 million customers per year. Sometimes you see friends, sometimes you run into that crazy ex-boyfriend or girlfriend. But sometimes you notice that one person who takes the same route as you every day. The social phenomenon is known as the familiar strangers. The concept of the familiar stranger is a term used to describe the people that you repeatedly encounter in your daily endeavors but fail to approach and initiate mutual contact. The social phenomenon was first identified by Stanley Milgram in his 1972 paper, The Familiar Stranger, an aspect of urban anonymity. It has become an increasingly popular concept research about social networks. Stanley Milgram was an American social psychologist best known for his controversial experiment on obedience that was conducted in the early 60s during his professorship at Yale. Although Milgram is well known for conducting his infamous shop experiment, he has also produced a lot of insight about the peculiarities of city life. One thing Milgram noticed was the way that city residents will often encounter the same stranger time and again. This is somebody who is observed repeatedly but with whom one does not otherwise communicate. It is a visual but not verbal relationship in which both parties stayed anonymous. By definition, a familiar stranger must be 1. Seen 2. Repeatedly over time and 3. Without any so interaction. To test this social interaction concept, Milgram conducted an observational study to see just how common the familiar stranger phenomenon was. Milgram had his students photograph different people at a commuter station one morning, then returned the following week to hand out photographs and asked people to pick out the faces they recognized. About 90% of people had at least one familiar stranger in their lives, and the average person had about four. They not only confirmed that urban residents do indeed have their own familiar stranger, we found an imperceptible community of strangers around us, a sort of hidden urban social network. Familiar strangers are the people you see frequently if you go to the gym, the ones you notice on your day-to-day -day commute, or the same familiar faces you recognize at your local coffee shop. If this person fails to appear, we notice their absence. These are people who aren't totally unknown to us, but aren't acquaintances either. The claim is that the relationship we have with these familiar strangers is indeed a real relationship in which both parties agree to mutually ignore each other without any implications of hostility. Familiar strangers form a border zone between people we know and the completely unknown strangers we encounter once and never see again. While we are bound to the people we know by a circle of social reciprocity, no such bonds exist between us and complete strangers. Familiar strangers buffer the middle ground between these two connections. Because we encounter them regularly in a familiar setting, they establish our connection to individual places. That concludes our brief explanation on Milgram's concept of the familiar stranger. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.